I tell you go, as I've already seen a couple people, you're going to put your card in your left hand, and you're going to put it on your forehead, like this. And you're facing forward, and you're going to walk around networking. Treat people the way that you believe that they should be treated, based on the face value of the card that you see in front of you. Let me repeat. Let me, re let me repeat that, OK? Folks, stay, stay with me, because all of you that think you got it good, just wait, there's a twist. Again, treat people the way you believe they should be treated. Do not telegraph. If someone has a queen, do not say your highness. They're a, if someone has a seven, don't say, hey, you must be good at Vegas or gambling. If they have a four, hey, you must be a golfer. You need to use business language or social language about the card you see in front of you. Cards down, flat down, so you can't see the face. Swap with three people. <laughs> Ready? Listen for the whistle, please, and stop wherever you are when you hear the whistle blow. Go. <laughs> Don't look. Don't look. Stop where you are. By show of your right hand, who has no clue whether they think they have a low, medium, or high card? So it's a good number of you. That's fine. That's the way it's supposed to go. Whoever you're talking to, give a little bit more direct hints. Again, don't telegraph it. So give more direct hints with your body language or words as to the way you should treat them based on the card value in front of you. <laughs> Who thinks they have a high card? Well, I... Rick, what do you think? Um, I think I have a, a face card. Because? Because he told me he had a problem with upper management and told me to jack up. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Go ahead and look at your card. number one tenet that I'm going to teach you tonight is on the back side of the card or the, the, um, the logo side, treat everybody like a CEO. You have no idea who you're going to meet.